At last, the motorcade entered the grounds of Westminster College. The gymnasium was packed with invited guests and dignitaries. Loudspeakers outside the auditorium delivered the speech to an overflow crowd. A special section near the stage was reserved for the mothers of local men who had died in the war. The atmosphere was one of anticipation and uncertainty, as Churchill had kept the content of his speech close to the vest. In the build-up to this moment, Churchill held court with the U.S. Press Corps on the train trip to Fulton, Missouri. I think no comment is a splendid expression, he told reporters who asked what he would say in Fulton. I'm using it again and again. Throughout his life, Churchill had craved the world stage. And here he was, once again, drawn to the fire of controversy that his words were sure to bring. This was the moment he'd waited for to voice his ominous warning about the threat of communism in Europe. Churchill had always possessed an uncanny premonition of history and its implications. His rich oratory often inspired a broad range of reactions. His moment in Fulton would be no different. Everyone anticipated controversy. Churchill did not disappoint.